And now, it is my honor and my privilege to introduce to you our guest speaker this morning, our new Niagara County Treasurer, Kyle Andrews. Thank you. Sheriff Latour, Judge Barraza, Legislator Godfrey, first responders, and most importantly, all those who currently serve or have served in the past. Since 1868, when this day was known as Decoration Day, we've come together across our country in communities, towns, and villages to place flowers and flags on the graves of those who have given their last full measure of devotion to our country. Indeed, we come here today to this wonderful Wilson's Veteran Memorial to remember and honor those who have done their duty as God allowed them to do their duty. There is arguably no greater sacrifice one can make than to die for another or for his country. And so, through the years and through the wars, Americans have never ceased to honor those who have given their lives in protection of us. The actions of these patriots are far more eloquent than words I can offer in places like Lexington, Korea, and Antietam, and still today in Anbar province. These courageous heroes are writing new chapters in our story of freedom. When he dedicated the battlefield in Gettysburg in 1863, President Lincoln spoke of this, how words just aren't adequate in occasions like these. He said, the world will know nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they have done here. And so it is today with us. The eloquence of words cannot match the power of sacrifices of so many. We honor them, we praise them, and we remember them. We remember them as more than just the name on a door on monuments such as the one before us, but we remember each of our heroes for the stories which they have to tell a story of the ultimate courage and honor, but also the irony of being taken from this earth with so many memories still to create. Now we should tell such a story to us all today. Steve Hutchison was in his early 20s when he was sent to fight. He was uprooted from the comforts of his daily life in Long Beach, California. Steve was sent to fight in an unpopular war in a far off place. Steve was sent to the jungles of Vietnam. But Steve's story didn't end the same way as over 58,000 Americans who died in that faraway place. Because Steve Hutchison, he made it back to the United States. In fact, he went on to marry, he went on to become a university professor, and have a successful career with a health insurance company. And like so many Americans, years later, this Vietnam veteran was shocked, outraged, and moved by the events of September 11, 2001. For it was after that day when Steve Hutchinson began to talk about re-enlisting. But the re-enlistment didn't occur right away. As his wife, Candy, said, that's not happening, Steve. It wasn't until 2007, after Steve lost the love of his life, Candy, to breast cancer, that this 59-year-old veteran, Steve Hutchinson, who had already been retired from civilian life and served in Vietnam some 40 years earlier, once again took up arms in defense of our great nation. As before, he was again sent off to a faraway place, into a war that wasn't always popular, but this time the outcome was different. Army Major Stephen Hutchison, at 60 years old, was killed in Iraq last May when a homemade bomb went off in his vehicle. He was the oldest member of any service to be killed in our ongoing conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. I tell this story to remind us that behind every flag draped casket and each name on a memorial wall, there's a story. A story of a father not coming home to his wife and children. A story of a mother whose heart will ache forever at the loss of a child. And still a story of a fellow soldier ridden with guilt of what they might have done to prevent the loss of one of their fellow soldiers. Above all else, however, this is the story of our country and the freedoms on which we celebrate today. See, the troops in Iraq and Afghanistan today, they're the direct descendants of the troops of Yorktown and Normandy. The battlefronts are different, 
The weapons have changed, but the fight remains the same. And on this Memorial Day, we honor not just the sacrifice made, but the story that each of our fallen soldiers have left behind. Thank you.